Well, uh, dear people and dear friends, animals and cats and everybody who is watching uh, this video, this is Super's Demon, uh, aka Angry Goran, but that's not important. What's important is, as you already know, we often uh, do things in our life, and sometimes we make good uh, choices, good decisions, and of course, bad decisions when it comes to, of course, choices. Uh, the same can be applied uh, to video games. We purchase a game and then we feel uh, sorry about it. So, I own plenty of games on Steam and of course physical copies. And I decided to make a new series called Do I Regret? Which means I'll uh, play games I have with honest open heart, without any predetermined hate, just free, free of any review, free of uh, negative surroundings, and see do I regret. So I picked Tau Truck Simulator 2015, it doesn't say 15 here, but this is uh, Tau Truck Simulator 2015 which you can buy on Steam and of course today I'm going to find out do I feel like an idiot for buying this specific product so let's begin if you go to options and click audio option you can uh, see a lot of sliders here but there is one huge problem with this game, which actually bothers me the most. You hear vehicles from highway all the time. And in this particular version I'm playing, updated, there is no way to turn it off unless you turn off entire volume. See? Let me show you. So this is main volume, this is music volume, effects volume and ambient volume. Let me show you what happens when you turn off ambient volume. Nothing. Let me show you what happens when you turn off effects volume. Nothing. Let me show you what happens when you turn off music volume. The music turns off, which you can barely hear in the background. And if you try, if you try you can hear the music. And this is the main volume. Some highway recording. It's it's so bad because you cannot hear music. And it's it's so unfitting that the city you are playing in has cars, but they are not driving this fast. So I'll show you. This this is just pointless. This highway recording makes no sense. That's my biggest concern when it comes to Tile Truck Simulator 2014. My biggest concern. This is... Uh... Okay, I can hear some music. You can really hear some music if you try. Video menu is pretty poor, but you cannot expect much when it comes to Octologic games. They are developer, UIG is the publisher, they are well known for bad games, but Actologic made some pretty decent games, and I believe this one is rushed. I believe this one is rushed. Leaderboards, as you can see, empty. I, I am wondering why. This is me, GMAC. Uh, if you read the description on Steam, the game says... Three game modes! Woo! Three game modes. Cleaner time trail and free play, which are basically all the same. So I bought this game because <laughs> because I, I bought it. We buy stuff. And today I'm going to find out do I really regret buying it? I also love the number 2015. It sounds futuristic, uh, futuristic, sorry about my English. 
And I'm disappointed I don't see 2015 here. All I see is Star Trek Simulator, which disappoints me. But let's just play a new game, a cleaner mode. So this is what you get. Five five tile truck vehicles which are decently modeled uh, when it comes to graphics it's pretty much the same it's a insomnia engine which Actologic always use when it comes to of course their games uh, the engine is not perfect has uh, problems with uh, shadow rendering and stuff but it's fine to me, so I will not criticize this game because of graphics. I already criticized it because of the sound, because of, as you can, uh, as you can see yourself, hear yourself, you hear cars running, driving at high speed all the time. But it's a pretty, pretty peaceful city, so it makes no sense. Makes no sense at all. So, my biggest concern so far is the sound, the sounds, and the music you can barely even hear. But when it comes to graphics, I'm, uh, I'm okay. I'm not a guy who wants much when it comes to graphics, but this is, as far as I'm concerned, decent. And simulators are not expensive. Uh, they are not uh, developed by very rich companies. A small group of people is usually working on them. And this is what you get. Decent graphics. So what you do is you are supposed to tow cars. Which are not parked well. For example, you can see those little red dots on your minimap which represents cars you are supposed to tow and let's drive a bit further this car seems illegally parked so I'm supposed to tow it and let me show you what happens is this car legally parked? I think it is. Cars are not supposed to be parked here. You got uh, plenty of uh, controls, which is actually part I like. They managed to simulate tow truck pretty well. You control literally everything on it. Literally everything. And. Oh, it says, this vehicle is too heavy for this tow truck. Okay, so I guess we'll have to find another... Another car which we are supposed to tow, right? So let's move a bit further. Here you can see your timer. I don't know, I think you are supposed to tow 15 truck uh, cars. And here you can see the money you earn. But let's observe the city for a moment, shall we? It looks, as I said, okay for this type of simulation. And Acta News, it's supposed to be funny, of course, because Acta Logic is developer. The developer. It's okay, I like this detail. Uh, the amount of details uh, you can find in the game all, uh, generally shows how much love was put into it. And how much hard work was there and this game is literally all you see is what you get there are not any hidden details for easter eggs it's pretty much bland game you can crush the lights which is okay as i said this is the same engine they use for all of their games which got uh, poor physics And funny, like cars bounce around, but it's it's a thing I can uh, forgive to a company. It's a thing I can forgive. Now I'm stuck. 
now I'm completely stuck. But okay, this is my fault. I wanted uh, troubles and I got troubles. See, physics are bad. This looks weird. So I'm stuck. Let's try another mode. Let's try free play. So every mode is basically the same. It's just they they got different names and in in a time trial of course you got time. In this mode you are free. So why do we play games? We play games to have some kind of enjoyment or uh, happiness or whatever. Now, we are different. People are different. And different things can make uh, different people happy. And particular group of people unhappy, of course. So, don't think uh, I'm making a review here. Because I, I don't. This is my series uh, called Do I Regret? Which consists of bad English and my own opinion about a specific game. And I'm going to discuss with myself and with you guys uh, Do I regret buying a specific product? So that's what it is. Subjective opinion. Reviews are generally subjective. So, some game that gets 3 out of 10 can give you pleasure. It all depends on you and your inner feelings and experience. With that being said, let's tow some car. Okay, okay. If you watch this mini map, I guess we have to go back to tow some car. There is no police here which can uh, punish you for driving like an idiot. It's not a thing. Uh, this is not really detailed simulation of a living city. It's focused on towing. I showed you. You got plenty of controls for towing. So if you want to drive fine and be a nice, uh, nice worker. You will drive by rules and just do your towing. Oh, I see two cars over there doing weird stuff. Okay, they are fine. See, this car is driving weird. Let's see what will happen now. I stopped and he stopped too. Okay, I guess they got some AI at least. I recognize the music, it's al already used in their former products in uh, agricultural simulators, but you can barely hear the music. Okay, let's find some car to tow. Is this car over here legally parked? I think it is. I think it is. See a little blue sign appears above it this is what you do any correctly parked vehicle is in range okay so this is a towing game and you are supposed to tow things uh, let's try okay extend the crane's hand before operating it or undocking hydraulics uh, I think I have to check controls because I forgot how am I supposed to do that with number two. Okay. Okay. I press two. Extend the cranes. Oh. Extend the crane. Ah. Uh, three, four, okay. Okay, I'm confused. Okay, this is just me being bad. I need to understand the controls more because this is actually really complicated and details detailed sorry about bad English so is this crane I think it should be what I need to press enter oh enter okay okay 
wait for the crane's hand to finish extending. Okay, I did. Now, what am I supposed to do? I can... I can move it! See, I can move it! Woo. Left and right, and... It's, it's, it's moving, it's moving actually, but... Really slowly. See, I'm pressing up. Check the speed. I guess this is how it happens in in real life. It's slow and tedious, but that's what this game is about. I want a towing. I got my towing. I got my tower. Okay, now I need to move it uh, right, right. See. This is the actual speed. And this is all you do. The entire game. You tow cars. And it's slow. But this is what you paid for. This is what I paid for. <laughs> oh god. Yes, this is the actual speed. Yes, it is. Okay, now you can, you can do plenty of stuff with this crane. It's it's pretty well modeled, and controls are okay. But imagine yourself playing this for a long time. Just imagine. Well, as I said, it depends on people. We are different. And each of us finds enjoyment elsewhere. So, I will position this crane above this car. Mm -hmm. Need to extend it a bit with the key plus. There are a lot of controls here. Move it a little towards my truck. Like this. You got a couple of cameras. Oh. See? You got stabilizers here or whatever they are called to stabilize your truck. If I press number three, see this is the left one and number four is the right one. And you can increase it. See, now my truck is stabilized because of this thing over here. Because the car is on the right side. But we have to tow it. We are far from over. What the? Oh, 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 oh. I need to switch the controls back to the crane. So I did. Let's... Let's position this. I need better camera. F4, F5, F... Okay, this one is cool. A little backwards. No. Okay, it's going down. Like this. Let's plus. press plus a bit. Okay. Okay, come on. Come on, come on, come on. And can we do something here? Yes! The car is hooked and can be lifted onto the truck. And there is no owner of this car because there are no people in this city. Only vehicles. So I have no idea who parked this thing over here. Let's get... Well, the camera is shaking for some reason. Let's, let's take this car up. Slowly. And slowly. But this is the game I want to play. This is well simulated, don't get, don't get me wrong, this is pretty well simulated, this towing process. It's like they spent entire budget just on this sequence. It's great, it's, it's, it's great, it's not poorly animated, it's great. I love this, the way they animated this. It just, it's very slow. It's very, 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 very slow. Incredibly slow. 
Now let's move it slowly and slowly. It cannot go faster than this, guys. Trust me. It cannot. Let's position this better. Okay. Slowly. This is only the first car. This is only the first car. Do you see all these red dots? You are supposed to tow all of them. All of them. And this is the first one. Okay, 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 we are good, we are good. Okay, okay. Now let's slowly put it down. Get down! Okay. Down. And down. I'm pressing down. It's going down, see? Slowly but safely. Slowly but safely. Uh huh. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, it says it's ready. What do I press now? Enter. Put the vehicle on the ground or on the truck before unhooking it. It is on the ground. What's happening? What? Do you see this? I'm trying to put the car down, get down. The car is now secured on truck. Yes, it looks very, very secure, but okay. Okay, maybe this is not very perfectly simulated after all. I hear weird sounds. Okay, we need to take the stabilizer up. Yep. Yep. And we are ready to go! Oh my god! I did it! I actually did it! Now we need to take this car back to our place, our garage, whatever it's called. And this is what you generally do. Entire game. Acta news, more Acta news. I see no people around it, but whatever. The car, at least the car is secured. That makes me comfortable. Okay, we are so close. And where am I supposed to put this car? Where? I guess... I guess here are all the cars our company took. What am I saying? What am I supposed to do? Oh! Oh, place it here! Okay, seems simple, don't you think? Let's position ourselves better. Place the car in an area marked in green. Should be pretty simple. Okay, I got this, I got this, I got this. First we are going to stabilize the car. Using the right stabilizer. Mm. Done, okay, it's stabilized. Now I'm going to take Press enter. And it's time to take this vehicle off my truck. Come on, come on. Put the vehicle on the ground. I'm trying, I'm pressing. Okay, let me check the controls again. Uh, crane is number two. Yes, okay, we are ready. We are ready. Hmm. I, this is the first time since I bought this game I'm actually going to do a first success, successful towing mission you can call it a mission first time do I enjoy this stuff? well uh uh, I, I, 
don't know. I feel like a weirdo. I feel like a weirdo while playing this game. I... I don't know. I just... <laughs> I, I don't know how I feel right now. I feel a bit... confused. Like... Why am I doing this? What's the purpose of life? Are the questions that come into my mind while I play this game. I don't know. Cannot see... I can't wait to see... what the reward is going to be when I place this car down. I want to see a reward. If it's only a money... and... What I guess it is... Oh god. You just get money and then you buy... And then you buy better vehicles. Better towing vehicles and then you tow more cars. If that's all it is, then I guess I am... Disappointed. Oh my god. Let's just place this car on this parking spot. I'm so close. I'm so close. I'm so close. Okay, let's position it better. But this is what people do in real life. But you got no crew. Only you and this truck crew would chat and talk and argue with the owner of the vehicle. But this feels empty. Okay, let's place this car down. Ooh. I'm just holding the S button and it goes down. And what I like now is some kind of book I can read while doing this. See, I believe this is the counter over here on top for this yellow car. Since beginning of our towing mission. Of course, the mission started the way we parked near car, I think. But it's so slow. I believe this is even faster in real life. I saw this tow truck a couple of times. Not this one uh, particularly, but you know, general tow truck in my city. Uh, doing some work. And it seemed faster to me then. But maybe it's just a feeling because I wasn't the one actually managing this stuff. The car seems secured. Enter. Game state saved and I got sixty dollars euros sixty freaking euros sixty euros sixty euros I guess that's the real price these people earn in real life, actually. No one is here. So no one earned this, earned this money. For God's sake, my only reward is 60 euros. I cannot believe this. I'm so shocked. I'm going to crush the city into pieces. Let's just return this shit. And drive and do some chaos. You cannot drive now! Why? Just let me drive. Ah. Oh my god, I just want to go to the city and destroy everything. It's more fun than towing. Come on, let me drive. No! No! I'm towing, cannot talk on my mobile phone now. Okay. Okay, now what? Let me drive! Cannot drive now! Why? Why? 
Why let me do this? Can I try now? Okay, I'll just start the new game and let's try this stupid time trial. Okay, let's do some chaos. At least it's more fun to drive through the city than towing cars. I want to get at least some money back I spent on this piece of product. At least some enjoyment. Because I get none in towing. I feel like it doesn't get me any inner reward or anything. So the first thing I'm going to do is crush this stop sign. Actually, I took it with me. Let's destroy this uh, nice little red car which seems parked well. Now it isn't parked well and it's ready to be towed. Bouncing, bouncing. This car is improperly parked. But they are made of rubber, so... This vehicle is also too heavy for this tow truck. Okay, let's observe the city. Let's do some shit. This game looks like a homework. Like a task you give to your worker, who is a programmer, and say like, make a towing simulation, so we can see, can you work for us, do you pass? And if you make this simple, simple, uh, this simple simulation, you pass. That's what this game is. It's just a simple project. Check this. A car disappeared over there, I think. And let's crush. You. Oh. And see, no one is driving it. No one. This is true future. This is 2015. You don't need drivers. Everything is moving by itself. No, you need no alive people here. See? This is a ghost town. Ghosts drive. No one in, is in this car. This is scary. This is very scary. Okay. I'll just drive uh, on this bridge so I can see the city from better position. Bus station, it looks cool. Okay, let's check the uh, bridge. Oh god, my bad, my bad, my bad. Oh, don't tell me I'm stuck! My last wish was to get onto that bridge. But I guess it will never be fulfilled. Well, this game looks pretty bland and empty and uh, doesn't have many details to explore. So at the end, I think I do regret buying this game. Thanks for watching this episode and I'll see you in the next one. Okay, thanks, bye.